welcome. Welcome. Again, this is just meant to be a chill stream talking about what we uh, what was revealed today at around uh, noontime Eastern Standard Time here uh, in Massachusetts, hence the Mass Video Gamer. Uh, we had some pretty big news. We had some pretty big news um, out of Terror Onion. Now, Terror Onion, if you don't know, is uh, incredible uh, when it comes to a lot of their different products that they've, uh, they've released. Um, definitely, they've had their bumps in the road, but I think they've learned a lot from, from, different, uh, from various things. Um, nevertheless, I think one of the big things we see today is they went ahead and revealed what they call the mode. Now, that's, you know, a acronym actually it's I think it's multiple optical uh, disc emulator uh, or drive emulator maybe yeah, I think it's drive emulator we'll take a peek we're gonna go look at the page um, it's interesting because it's something that we already have on the market sort of and we're gonna get into that a little bit um, but it is interesting to see just how um, how they're how different approach they're taking for this okay um, now I've been a long supporter of Terror Onion um, in fact I have all their their products that they've released I've I have them or had them. I did sell my Neo SD. Um, however, I do have a Neo SD Pro for my AES. And um, I've seen their growing pains. And I know some people are still concerned about um, their quality, specifically when it came down to the SSDS3, the uh, emulator, drive emulator that would go right onto your uh, PC Engine or Turbo Graphics or Super Graphics or what have you. Um, and I got burned by that too. I, that was my, uh, you know, that was the first thing I bought from Terra Onion. And I bought, I was the first batch that really had some issues with the RGB video. Um, and thanks to the community, again, Mobius Strip Tech, aka Chris, uh, and Voltar, Lord Voltar, aka Zach, um, the Crazy Kentuckian. Thanks to them, you know, they went ahead and they improved not only audio, um, but the audio and the video on that unit. Um, but again, I think, and I think that's one of the best things that I could, uh, I could say is, you know, Terra Onion, I know there's been some naysayers about them because of that, and I agree. I mean, I, I felt burned right away. Um, now, luckily, I can mod my own stuff, so I, you know, I, I got the boards from Chris and from Zach and installed them, and it looks, it looks absolutely beautiful. But it was interesting because that's something that we, you know, some people still refer back to, that like, wow, that was, you know, I got burned by that. And, yeah, I know, I, I, I get it, you know, that's the buyer's remorse or what even some people call um, early adopters tax if you will um, but and even even after that they had a little bit of um you know controversy as they went ahead and were saying things online such as like you know you, you know quality can't be measured right that became a meme in the retro circles here um and it was interesting because it you know they i think i think they took a step back i think alex took a step back and um said okay we need to do something about this and they did um, amazingly, they, they hired uh, Todd from Todd's Nerd Cave as their PR, which is, he's fantastic, he's incredible, he's knowledgeable, he's perfect for the job. Um, and he was the one that did the direct today. Uh, it was very interesting, though, because, you know, Todd, I think, I think Alex, more or less, um, they kind of thought, okay, we need to, like, regroup and let's, you know, let's do it right. And ever since they have. Again, they re-released the uh, SSD S3 with a new hardware revision. They um, went ahead, as it's on the screen right now, um, they went ahead, put out the Neo Geo SD, uh, the Neo SD Pro, uh, put out, you know, so many other great products, the Mega SD, um, and, and they've, they've done that with the help, they, wit of Chris and Voltar and Firebrand X and all these great uh, retro, uh, incredible retro people in the community, um, and I think that's really, on, that's honorable, like, they, it's, it's amazing that they, they knew that these guys are the experts in this stuff, um, and they said they reached out to him and so now we've got a new product now the new product um, if you will now enough enough history of uh, terror onion here the new product uh, went up today in fact they had a direct today um, as they like to do which I, I, I love them you know it builds hype which is huge which is good but if you visit their store uh, they went ahead and here it is right here they have the terror onion mode the mode um, it's a say a Dreamcast or Saturn um, optical uh, drive emulator. Now, what does that mean? That essentially means that this board right here, you will be able to take out your um, your disk drive that's in the um, Saturn or the Dreamcast, which we're getting into that, um, and replace it with this. And then now you can run your ISOs or bin dot Qs, as we're going to talk about too, um, files directly from this, um, from a hard drive, from a USB, from an SD card, versus uh, relying on you know dead lasers, dying lasers, and things like that which is a big concern 
Um, especially, you know, it's, those consoles are getting old. And so, so am I. So, first, one of the biggest uh, things we need to look at with this is, has this been done before? And the answer is yes. Uh, in fact, right now, I have their, their competition in my Dreamcasts and my Saturns. Um, I have the USB GD-ROM by um, Nemo, Nemo, however you pronounce it, um, which has been so far my top pick of uh, what we're going to see is I did order two of these, um, <clears throat> but they, that was my top pick for a Dreamcast um, ODE, which was incredible because again, they, what the USB GD-ROM does is again, you take your Dreamcast, you take off the shell, you put in this board and you can attach anything with a USB to it to uh, you know to run different um, uh, games right directly from a hard drive. I have a 500 gig hard drive in mine. Um, I did a 3D print and the, the, the hard drive is just kind of right in there. Actually, oh, you know, hold on, I'll go get it, I'll go get it. Um, as we'll talk about these, just a second. Dreamcast. Hello. All right, so we have to turn up the green screen to show you. Um, but nevertheless, so it's so beautiful. Here, I'll, I'll turn it off. It seems like the uh, although although we enjoy the Dreamcast, the okay. We'll just we'll green screen it just for now as I show it. So. Um, again, this is, here's your Sega Dreamcast and all its beauty, so much beauty. Um, again, what I currently have in there, if you open it up, it's going to look and look, go, what happened? Where's the, where's the drive? Um, so instead, I'm not going to take it apart now, uh, inside I do have a um, 500 gig hard drive in here, uh, laptop drive. And, you know, everything's loaded onto it. Again, it's not easily accessible, but again, I put all the games I want on it. Um, and again, that fit most, if not, I think all of the U.S. game library on there, or just about. Now, uh, this has also been modified. I modified it with the um, digital, uh, DC Digital now as well. So, Screencast has uh, seen some stuff. Oh, and I put the Noctua fan in there as well. Nevertheless. So, is there stuff on already that this market is targeting? Yes. In fact, not just in Dreamcast, but also in Saturn as well. So, again, here's my study Saturn. Actually, I have two. I have a Model 2 Japanese one, which is the all white, and I have the um, black Model 1. And if you look inside, there is no <gasps> it's an SD card. And that's because this is also another ODE that's in there, which we'll talk about. So, actually, we'll start with that. We'll start with the ODE here for the Saturn. So, the Saturn has um, actually a pretty, pretty awesome uh, ODE. It has some serious issues though, and I think this is something that's amazing that this new product is gonna address. So the uh, ODE that's in here, I'm looking at it now, I do have uh, an SD card in there. I have, um, how much, how big is it? 100, 128, not too big. 128 gigabyte uh, SD card. Now, that has all the Saturn games I pretty much wanna play. It's the US ones, and there are some amazing Japanese games, but it's, it's hard, you know, obviously, because the Japanese library is so expansive on the Saturn, but again, it just, you know, it's, it's a language barrier. It's, it's hard. So, the reason why the mode really, um, we'll talk about the Saturn first, is, is I like it for Saturn, is because I have the Rhea and I have the Phoebe. Now, these two are again ODEs just like this, but it uses just SD cards. And that's really one of the first benefits here of the mode, is that not only uses SD cards, it can use um, USB, or it can use SATA, which is pretty amazing, considering, again, when you when I go back to that Dreamcast, 
um, that's that's what I have. That's what I'm using is a SATA drive. So um, what we're seeing here on oh, multiple optical multi optical disc emulator, okay, um, is that we are seeing the uh, is addressing one particular problem, which is which is amazing with this one. Okay, so first you see 2.5 uh, hard drive compatible, perfect with XFAT, um, which is nice. Um, micro SD. Um, it, there's no jumpers to configure. It just knows where it's you know where it's plugged in, and of course there's USB for thumb drives and so on as well. Here is where it gets amazing. So it is compatible with Redump, which is where we get a lot of our images. Um, but what's pretty incredible here is the fact that here let me just kind of blow it up a bit if I can. Whoop, is that of course we have compatible with bin and queue files and dot ISOs. Um, what's pretty amazing is that, you know, yes, having a set an emulator, uh, drive emulator ODE is, is incredible, but you had to individually make a folder for each one, um, each game. They had to be numbered, like 01, 02, 03, etc. I mean, I think I got to like, I want to say 100 now, which is like, sick of this, I'm done. Um, now they do have an, a program now, and I, I got that. I got had this for years. Um, they do have a program now that will make the folder structure for you, and you still have to like just put it in. Um, however, the different file formats are annoying. Um, bin and queues are the most like easiest, right? And so are ISOs to get a hold of. Um, CCDs, DDIs, they're you know, they, especially CCDs, they, they're, they're hard. So. I had to go and convert all my games to the format to make this thing be able to read it and on top of that have that folder structure. We don't need that now. Again, this is almost, you know, well this isn't almost, this is essentially plug and play. If you have a Phillips screwdriver, you take off the, the shell and boom. And I think probably, you know, although this is too, the software side of it is not plug and play. It's, here it looks like it will be plug and play. Um, just as literally it says, um, but also with the software as well. Um, and so, does it trump the one here? That's uh, you know I I had to wait online at like 6 a.m. I think it was our time here to order it with you know one of the uh, most friendliest retro uh, gamers on the internet. It was worth it. I think it was. Um, but I do think that this is going to definitely fill that, that niche. Uh, I think a lot of people don't have this right now because um, they're made in small batches and they're put online, there's no pre-order and it's like that's it. Here we have a pre-order. In fact, I already pre-ordered too, like I said, and you can pre-order it right now if you want on the Tower Onion website if this even interests you. Okay, so does it, will it do amazing stuff for Saturn? Yes. I think this is going to be huge for the Saturn community. Um, it isn't the only one. We have the Ferrer, F-E-R-I-R, uh, -E um, which again, let's see if I can even bring it up. Um, no, two R's, I it's two R's, right? No, Ferner, Ferner, there it is. Um, which again, shout out to Bob from RetroRGB, he's incredible. Um, his RetroRGB.com is an incredible site. If you haven't checked it out, I don't know what you're doing with your life, check it out. Um, <laughs> it's incredible, it's an incredible, incredible community. Um, and then you can smoke monster that did wrote this up. So this is one that's been um, launched on I believe it's 8-bit mods. Let's see Let me go to the 8-bit mods website um, rather recently and it actually is um, another option again for an OD ODE for the Sega Saturn. Yeah, there it is. And again right now it's sold out but again it's been it's been in like very little batches okay and it's, it's very new so it, I, I would never I wouldn't hold that against it. Um, nevertheless, it is interesting to see that, you know, is there competition for this new mode? Yes, there absolutely is. Um, whether or not this, you know, the guy who makes the Rhea is going to continue with it, um, we'll see. Uh, but I think, you know, it's good to have options. I think it's great to have options. Um, and another one that, of course, is probably most notorious, um, that's been something we've been all waiting for, is the Sadiator. Or Sadiator. Um... This is, this is a, uh, a pretty incredible one because what this does is, as you can see, and again, 
Thank you again, Bob, for providing this because, Bob, you are amazing. Your whole website's amazing, and what you do for the community is amazing. But you know that. Uh, what it does is it actually goes in here in the back of the Sega Saturn. Now, right now, I have the. Uh, I have the Hitachi High Saturn um, MPEG card. So it's actually would be similar in like a 3D uh, printed case like this. It would go right in and pop it in. Now that's a that's a good benefit to have it pop in. Oh, watch, no, no, it's not gonna pop in because my camera. Right? Do that off camera. <laughs> I gotta open it up anyways. Um, yeah, I'm gonna do a quick recap. Shout out to Console Five because uh, Luke's awesome over there. He's incredible. Anywho, um, let's do a shout out to him. So one of the big things, of course, is the nice thing about the Sadiator here, or Sadiator, however we pronounce it, we don't, I don't really know yet, um, is that it's going to go in the back of the console. It will go not only in the back, but it, it will make it so you can still have your, your disk drive. That's a big benefit. Um, again, will you know bus speeds and things like that, um, will that matter? Who knows? Um, but nevertheless, I think uh, it's good to have competition, especially in a... Um, in, in retro gaming like this because you know they're going to continue to support and try to make their product the best so that's a good thing because again you know just as this has launched um, again competing with the original SD card ODE for the Saturn again you're gonna have a different option if you want to keep original discs and then now you have one that if you want you can pre-order it um, again Terra Onion are good in two different things. They keep things in stock, um, kind of in batches, more or less. I mean, Alex doesn't have warehouse space. They just put boxes upon boxes, you know? Like, um, so it, it does come in batches, but again, he does have pre-orders and then he does have, um, when they come in and they're in stock, he just puts them right up. And always, they always announce it on Twitter. Uh, and they always do firmware updates. They do um, support their product, which is huge. I think that's amazing. Um, it really is, because <laughs> again, we're gonna talk about perfect to switch gears. Uh, we're gonna talk about uh, the Dreamcast now. So the Dreamcast has um, other ODs as well. There's two big ones. The creator of the Ria originally made the GDMU. I have that on my other Dreamcast. I'm not gonna get it. Just it's in my Sega Sports Dreamcast. The, the black one there. It's nice. Uh, which I also put the digital uh, DC digital in there. And again, if you haven't done that already. Again, Citrus 3000 PSI, aka Dan Coons. He is, oh my gosh, he, he's amazing. He's amazing. Uh, and of course, um, Chris, is it Chris? Um, who helps him out too. Well, they, they, they help him out. They, they're a team. They're a team now. Um, but nevertheless, they, uh, they create these amazing, um, essentially, digital video outs on consoles. And so, you know, they have the 3DO RGB, which is an analog, uh, which is still, it's amazing, it looks so good. And of course, the Dreamcast one. But nevertheless, I digress. The ODEs, you have the GDMU and you have the USB GD-ROM. So, out of those two, like if you asked me yesterday, before anyone knew anything about this thing, um, I would say get the USB GD-ROM. By Minimo, Minimo, Minimo. See if I can bring it up there. So this is a it is a nice kit. It is. Um, I know the web page looks like it's literally from 1995, um, but this is it right here. Um, the newer ones have been coming in white, by the way. And we had kind of an issue because we thought this was it. That after these were were done, um, he wasn't going to make any more. And the reason why is because he said that. Um, you only had a few left. Yeah, see, final sales. In my stock left, about 65 pieces of these pieces of these have connectors. They're just discontinued a long time ago and not produced anymore. That mean I cannot make about 60, I can make about 65 pieces of the USB G ROM. So this has been a great piece of tech because it is easy plug and play. I have a USB to SATA adapter in here and that SATA goes right to the hard drive. It all is contained in here. So this is what I would say to go with prior to. Now the menu looks like it's out of MS-DOS, and I get it. It's like a blue screen, and then I think the newer firmware is a black screen with white text. Um, for me, that's fine. I don't mind it. But what's interesting about this mode to bring up is that it actually is going to have, it's like a million tabs open up, um, 
an interface. It's going to have an actual, you know, GUI that they, they showed off on the Direct. So if I were to even like kind of real quick, go take a peek here. Again, you have this just kind of playing too. Um, what's pretty amazing about seeing this in action uh, is the fact that the, the graphic user interface, the GUI, uh, looks really nice. And there's Todd. Hi, Todd. Um, it's just pretty amazing to, to see that. So um, that's a plus on that. Why I would recommend it over the GDMU right away is because the GDMU, although significantly cheaper because you can get, that's actually the exact hard drive that's in here right now, by the way. Um, the GDMU is uh, cloned, meaning you can buy it cheaper, but I never recommend that because you're not really supporting the, the, the people who put their blood, sweat, and tears to give it to you. You're supporting somebody who took that product and just shoved it, just, just copied it, and then just shoved it out for significantly cheaper. Um, but you could argue that that's the way to go, but there's a couple different things with that too. You still need that file structure with the folders, again, 01, 02, 03 for each game, and you need to convert the files too. Um, it's just clunky. Um, the menu is something that is, you know, rather nice for the GDMU and the, um, and they call it the R menu on the, uh, for the Saturn but they're not supported by the developer. It's something that was, again, this amazing retro community made. So, I mean, again, it's, it's interesting to see that they didn't even, uh, the, the, you know, the original developer doesn't uh, support that. Versus this menu system is gonna have not only um, amazing, I mean, and it gives a shout out to some people in the Discord, that um, the Terra Onion Discord that have, that have made these images, but uh, incredible images, I like the interface already. Um, and they said it's gonna get even better. I, I mean, I'm like, it's already pretty good. Um, but it is pretty incredible because again they do support their stuff so this this is pretty exciting I think overall we could have um, what I think is to be the the ultimate ODE for both Saturn and Dreamcast now for business it makes sense make it so it'll work on Saturn and Dreamcast and then you're only gonna make one product but do keep, keep in mind, <laughs> if you're going to try to put it in your Saturn and your Dreamcast, buy two if you want to keep it in both. It would be ridiculous to switch it back and forth between your Saturn to your Dreamcast and back. You would have to keep all the screws loose on your, um, which you probably would have if you even tried this. Um, you'd have to keep all your screws loose um, on your systems to lift the lid and change it out every time. Not worth it. Now, as you can see here, and I think Todd did a great job explaining this too, you have, you know, media is significantly cheaper. The GDMU, the RIA only support SD card. Um, and the micro SD cards are expensive for what you, you know, for, for different um, storage. Um, SSDs are getting cheaper and a great option and just your your platter you know your, your hard drive is going to be a good solution for this um, I think they they did a great job I especially with um, you know Minimo not making the GD ROM USB GD ROM anymore or soon to be not making it um, this is going to kind of fill that that niche a little bit and it's also going to prevent um, it's going to help people who have been you know who haven't been able to get you know the different uh, ODEs for Saturn due to demand you know due to the fact that you know you have to be online and ready to hit like refresh 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 to get one and like two minutes later they're all sold out um, so this is gonna kind of fill that, that that market which is great I don't know why Todd has Grover in the background by the way but I like it um, but yeah so this actually is a great product it's a great idea uh, I think some people were disappointed because there wasn't something new, that's something that we've seen before, uh, but I think it's implemented a million times better, a million times better, for sure. Now this is a little bit on the uh, the interface here, which is, you could use this one, he said, Todd said, so you could use your, your basic one, very similar to any EverDrives, um, and even the USB GD ROM where it's very, you know, there's your, there's your text for your game, there it is, um, which I don't mind, I know some people do, but I don't mind. And then he's going to show uh, kind of a little bit of a hint at some of the other ones, um, the other options for a menu. And again, they, they do a great job with this. Um, look at that. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Oh, you 
get screenshots, you get cover art. Um, that that does look nice. That, I mean, there's no denying it looks great. Um, it really does. So I'm excited for this. Um, are you excited for this? That you're going to be going and uh, ordering this? Because the last thing I did not talk about yet was price. So some people are not happy with the price. So let's put it in perspective, okay? Um, and no, I'm not buying that, oh, it's divided by two because for two consoles. Again, it's not realistic. You cannot take an ODE out of one console and try to put it in the other on the, on the fly. Let's be serious. It's ridiculous to think that. For most people, for 99% of the people, again, they're gonna have their Dreamcast set up and they're gonna have their Saturn set up. And there you go, if they're, if they're gonna be ordering this. Um, or it might be in a box, and they'll take it out of the box, and then they want it ready to go. I'm not buying that you can switch between the two. Um, good thing, like a great, great thing that they put on there, but again, definitely something that um, is more business than like a feature, let's put it that way. Okay, so um, what are the prices? Well, it's 182, um, 182 bucks. Euros. Sorry, not bucks. That's what I meant to say. So what's 182 euros to, for us in the U.S. here? It's about 200 bucks, and that's you know a lot of money. But look at the competition. Um, if you want the U.S. GD ROM, which is the one I did, he really put this all in white. He did. What? Why is this in white? Anywho, um, again, you have 180, 180 bucks. So for $20, you're getting something that will, first off, be here sooner. That's one thing I didn't really get into too much with this. The USB GD ROM will come to your house. You just have to wait for it. It'll be two months. I got mine over, it was over two months actually, um, that I got mine. And that's not even, you know, during this stuff here, this crisis. Um, so this you know turns definitely faster shipping it's not like again amazon here um, but it is faster shipping for sure uh, from andorra because they ship out of the, uh, the, the the country of andorra the beautiful country of andorra so 180 bucks you're getting a 20 dollar difference that's i mean if you're already spending 180 bucks what's 200 honestly the second thing to think about is that i'm in the u.s so i'm not affected by this but other countries are and that's taxes um, something called that, right? Um, where you're kind of hit with a tariff, you know, a, an import tax, um, and you have to pay that. So it's not actually 200. It can be significantly more than that, depending what VAT, you know, what the country um, has for, for VAT. So that's something, obviously, that's, you know, very much tailored to each situation there. That's, you know, it is what it is. Now, for that, I think it's worth it. I mean, if this is the new... Um, the new ODE for this, the ultimate one. Now, if you have a USB GD ROM, do I recommend you going ahead and, you know, throwing it away and buying this? No. If you've already set up your USB GD ROM, and you've already have it, and it's already working for you, this isn't gonna net you much. Obviously, the one big thing that came out, what, it must've been like a year ago now, is that uh, Minimo put um, like a, uh, self-timing like self-destruct uh, firmware on his his product here um, he didn't do it for the 3do um, but he did it for the, the um, Dreamcast and yeah that wasn't a good luck but he did go back on it and say okay he took it off and that was good that was I'm glad he did because um, it was crazy to think that he was gonna like keep that on there the firmware was going to self-destruct the uh, the system. Uh, I mean, not the system, the, uh, the ODE at one point. It's crazy. But he did backtrack. He took that off. After he got called out on it, though. Nevertheless. So, again, if you don't have a ODE for your Dreamcast and you're looking to play that amazing system, homebrew, everything else, Todd says it will be around, like, 1.5, um, uh, you know, terabytes for for the English, Japanese, and homebrew. Again, I, I brought up 500 gig and I'm fine, but 
you know, why not? <laughs> the media is cheap. Um, you know, why not go a little bit more? Especially because, again, I got this years ago as well. So, yeah, I think if you don't have it, get the mode. If you do have a USB GD-ROM, then you're set. You do not need this. You really don't. It's not going to net you anything better than uh, other than a menu. And is a menu worth $200 to you? I mean, I don't think so. But to some people, it might be. So, again, clear winner there. Now we look at $200 and the other products. I mean, it can be a hard sell. Price is a lot. And granted, you know, this, um, you know, who knows um, how long this will be supported. And the Sadiator, again, we don't really know how much it's going to be when it comes out. But, yeah, I mean, this is kind of a harder sell. Um, it would be nice to use um, SATA right on there, right on to the, uh, the, the Saturn. SATA on Saturn would be nice. Um, but is it a hundred dollars nice that's something you have to ask yourself and again if you already have you know one of these especially the Rhea I think the Rhea goes for I mean don't quote the eBay prices okay don't even um, but I think the Rhea goes for I want to say it was like 130 last time I checked like 140 um, so this is cheaper than that um, this is supposedly gonna be easier to get a hold of as well and we don't know what the Sadie is going to be. So, again, you have $200 like, plus VAT for some countries um, for this new mode. So, it's a harder sell. Do I think it's worth the investment? Absolutely. Because, you know, this is... I love the Saturn. I think it has a fantastic library. Um, some of my favorite games of all time are on there. Um, but, you know, for someone who maybe doesn't know the Saturn very well, maybe don't play the Saturn very much, um, you know, maybe you don't have... Uh, a lot of money to spare. I mean, I bought that Saturn for 20 bucks years ago, so it's like, you know, I got into this stuff before it got out of control um, with pricing, but now Saturn's are a lot of money, and it surprised me. I didn't realize that. I looked it up, like, I want to say, it's been a couple months ago. I figure out Spark it too, but nevertheless. Um, yeah, they went up in price, so you have to think, like, what do you want, what do you want out of it? Do you want, you know, do you want that flexibility of having SD, USB, or um, SATA for 200 or would something like this work out for you? You know, that's something you can decide. You know, price is a big factor. Overall, though, I think that going back to the mode, um, I think it's a pretty, pretty solid option. The fact that it's compatible for, again, 20 and 21 pin consoles, um, that's something that, you know, previously. Was, was kind of hard, kind of a mixed bag, because you, you know, you either have a 21 or a 20 pin console, and you'd have to get the specific um, ODE for that console. Um, you couldn't, they weren't interchangeable. So this is nice. Um, it's compatible for, uh, with all the Dreamcast versions, including VA0, which is a uh, kind of a, a weird one, because it has a heat sink and everything else, but I don't get too much into that. So what else does this offer you? Well, it's going to offer you multiple disc games, but so do these. Um, seek time is, you know, faster. It's always nice. I mean, anything faster is always nice with some of these loads. Um, it does support MPEG, action replay. Um, oh, and one thing that's incredible is that it is region free. So, um, you know, these have region free BIOSes in them that I installed. You don't need that. Again, you can simply um, load it right up. So. That's really nice, actually. That's a really good point. That's a really nice one. Um, again, you can still play region, um, you know, games that are region locked to different regions with the action replay card in your Saturn. So, yeah, you know, which you should have anyway if you have a Saturn. Honestly, it's like 33, 35 bucks, and it nets you a way for not just cheat codes, but to have a, a four meg RAM card um, for fighting games that some fighting games that need it, and then it also nets you the um, ability to back up saves if you don't have an uh, FRAM mod so all right so FRAM means that it'll save your actual save game and not worry about the battery dying Ugh, on the Saturn I hate that um, so nevertheless FPGA check figured it would be 
I did see this one, full speed memory card interface supporting up to 12 megabytes per second. Awesome. Um, one thing I asked, but I, they haven't got back to me yet, is that is it going to support any type of saves? So, for example, on my Saturn, you know, everyone's annoyed. Everyone gets annoyed with that battery. That battery dies and your saves just go boop um, if you didn't back them up to your action replay card. So, I asked, they haven't gotten back to me though, if the saves, if it has anything to do with saves. I'm going to assume not, just because it is, of course, a disc emulator and discs can't save. So, it is what it is. Um, you're just going to have to get, do an FRAM mod to it. That's probably your best bet, honestly. It's a great mod for those for these. Um, I'm going to be doing one on stream soon, by the way. I have, an, I have uh, two, yeah, two Dreamcasts that don't have the FRAM. Um, I have a lot of Dreamcasts. I mean, uh, two Saturns that don't have the FRAM mod. I, I have, like, I think four Saturns. It's a problem, I know. <laughs> you look at that Japanese white one. It looks so good. It's, oh, it's so good. I love that. That's probably my favorite Saturn. All right, so... Um, yeah, I mean, you've got a whole bunch of, um, and there you go, here's that, that and import taxes right there, right? So you've got a bunch of different things that are, uh, even selection, see, that's like, so cool. Even selection's cool for the Saturn. Again, you've got a lot of different issues, uh, a lot of different, um, uh, not issues, uh, well, solutions to issues that we've had previously. So they're looking to ship this thing late June, early July, and obviously I'll do a follow-up. Um, I'll do a stream with it. Just like when I got the DC Digital, when I back when it was the DC HDMI, I did a stream with that almost right away. Um, I got the DC Loader, I did a stream with that right away. Um, again, I'll be doing a stream, so again, make sure to hit follow on Twitch, and um, you know, definitely, you know, when we come, when that comes out, um, you'll be the, one of the first to hear about it. I, I tend to get to our Onion um, stuff really quick for some reason. Um, I have the original, I got the, uh, when I got the Mega SD, I got the brown PCB, which was. Uh, doubled and I guess the blue ones weren't and that was a factory mishap um, I got the first run of SSD S3 and so on too so literally it's um yeah so I usually get these things pretty fast and again the second I get it pop them off put them in check them out and we'll, we'll, we'll get more into it um, so the last thing I want to touch upon is say you have this right say you've got a USB GD-ROM say you've got a Saturn with the RIA do you go and sell it no, I wouldn't. Especially the USB GD ROM. I think that is a fantastic piece of tech. Um, it really is nice. And then we don't have this yet. Now, compatibility-wise, they are claiming full compatibility. Um, well, you know, close to 100%. But you know, not until we get it in our hands do we know, right? You know, the, 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 you never really know. And I think I just I wouldn't yet. I wouldn't let go of it yet. Personally, I'm not gonna. I'll tell you that. Um, and then, of course, if you have the RIA, I mean, that's up to you. Um, the nice thing that you're gonna net out of this is that SATA and USB as well, and that interface, that menu versus the uh, the RIA or the Phoebe. So, again, up up to you as well. That one's a hard one, um, especially because you know if you go to sell in June or July. You're not gonna get as much for it as if you did now. Not that I encourage scalping. I think that's horrible and, and it's bad stuff. But it's the fact of the matter is, it's, it's true. People are gonna do that. So, do I think you just unload all your stuff? No, I wouldn't. Um, if you have this stuff, you know, maybe just wait it out. You know, the Terror Onions, one that are gonna have stock back. You know, once they once these sell out, um, they're gonna do another run of them. It may take a while, but they will and because of that you'll definitely um, reap the benefits where you'll you know you'll see you know it's that simple all this is speculation it's all you'll see who knows who knows cool all right let me just check the chat is there anybody uh in the chat i just want to give like the first uh little over a little over a half hour kind of talking about everything because i think it's important you know to kind of you know talk about all this stuff you know so And again, if you have, if you're, if you're watching, you know, say what's up, get into the chat, you know, and don't forget to give a follow too, you know, get into the chat because uh, I'd love to hear what you guys think about this too. Um, 
my, my, my two viewers here. Oh, look at all that green screen. It is nice. A lot of green. A lot, well, what, there's not a lot of green. It's, it's hidden. It's hidden green screen. It's all hidden. Can't see nothing. Can't see nothing. So, yeah. I'm excited, though. I think overall this is a... Uh, this is going to be a good product. I think it's going to be good. And like I said, you could you could literally pre-order this right now. You pre-order right now. You're not going to get it right now. You're going to get it late June, early July. But that's the way to do it, though. That's the way to do it. I think, it's, I think you know, Terran, you did a good job with this. I think this is it. This is going to be one of the big ones. Granted, you know, a lot of their products are, are really big ones. I mean, again, like we talked about, look at this list right here. Look at this list. Mega SD, right? Sega CD and... Uh, Sega Genesis support. Boom. Incredible. Without a Sega CD, mind you. Uh, Neo SD Pro AES. Uh, for your AES console, not only do you have Neo Geo AES games, but you've got Neo Geo CE games. Not all of them, but some of them that'll play on that. Awesome. Um, SSD S3. Oh, this thing is a godsend. Um, again, everything Turbo Graphics and PC Engine is ridiculously expensive, and this, although it seems expensive, really is worth it because again the amount you'd pay for an add-on cd-rom drive and any of those games this is a bargain bargain okay so that's good i mean th their products are um are huge and of course the mvs as well the, the arcade system for uh for neo geo so they have a good track record now you know it's, again it's not the ter terror onion of days of old um and i think this od this ode the mode is going to be it's going to be something big it's going to fill that niche especially like we said um he's not going to be making much these usb gd roms anymore so you know, I mean, get them while they're hot as well if you haven't already um and then just wait like two to three months to get it so that's always a bummer but um and again yeah you got the say this is probably one of, the, one of the most hyped up ones right here the satiator the satiator for the saturn i think this is this is going to be a big one when this comes out but it's been years in the making literally years so yeah let's see do i get do i, do I get any more viewers no viewers no viewers want them viewers i do like the one thing we can uh you know we can you know this will go up and, and other people will uh you know can look at it later and stuff So it's lo-fi, you know? Lo-fi. All right, I guess no one's here. I guess I'll end it. So yeah, I mean, feel free to go ahead and follow, um, especially because when I get this in, I'm gonna, you know, essentially review it. I'm gonna, you know, put it up and you can check it out, um, which is pretty cool. And, uh, yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited for the uh, the mode. I'm excited. It'll be good. Yeah. I, did I think it was gonna be something else? Absolutely. Absolutely. I think a lot of people did. I think a lot of people did. But I think it's going to be good to have something that's permanent for Saturn and Dreamcast. And again, I highly recommend it. If you want it for your Dreamcast and your Saturn, get two. You're not going to switch them out. Realistically, it makes no sense. So for them, it's more of a business thing where they can just have one stock, one SKU. That's it. Instead of having two. Okay. So don't, I know some people are like, well, divide it in half. It's like $100 per console. You're not going to take it out of your console once you're in there. 
I'm not taking that the GD USB GD run out of this console. I'm not taking the Wii out of that console. Like once it's in, it's in. You know, it's a pain. You have no screws and everything else. Oh. So, cool. All right, so I might be on uh, maybe later today. Um, probably be doing the stream on Sunday, um, which will be good. But on that, you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. Goodbye.